there, what's going on everyone? My name is Jay, thanks for joining me. This is the world according to Jay. Today we're gonna to check out someone to share my nightmares from Sonora Taylor. Now I'll be honest with you right up front, for some weird, odd, inexcusable reason, this is my first experience checking out Sonora Taylor's work. I don't know how or why. I actually have a handful of her other work on my Kindle, um, other short story collections. I may even have a novella on there. I just haven't gotten to them yet. I, I don't know. But I always hear good things. Yeah, from everyone else. I always hear good things. I don't know how or why I have not dived into any of her work before. But she was so kind to uh, give me an advanced copy of Someone to Share My Nightmares. It's a short story collection. Guys, these are a little, these are a little naughty. Yeah. yeah. I, have, I, I enjoyed it all overall. I think I'm at a three and a half to a four. I'm just kind of going back and forth uh, with those numbers. I'm not exactly sure what genre I would put this in. I mean, there, there's definitely horror elements there. Um, and definitely a lot of naughtiness. So would it be like naughty horror or horrotica? Is, is, is that a thing? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a blend of horror and some spice. A lot of spice. Naughty stuff. Don't tell anyone I read it, okay? No, it, it's not, you know, full-blown erotica. It, it, it's, I mean, it's a little graphic at times. Uh, I really wasn't shocked because, I mean, I don't get really shocked from reading any kind of horror or dark fiction. Nothing really, uh, you know, shocks me too much. I mean, there are things I don't like, uh, but nothing really shocks me too much. So yeah, it, it got it got a little spicy at times. Uh, we, we, we also get a wide range of subject matter uh, throughout with stories including like a mysterious forest, uh, a late night visit thought to be about one thing, turns into another thing, then it turns into like a fight for survival because it becomes somewhat cosmic. Uh, we get vampires. We get a uh, talking parrot with secrets. You can't trust those birds. Not at all. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We get a visit from Krampus. Krampus pays us a visit. This is a little bit different kind of Krampus. This is the... Uh, Kind of Krampus you may catch late night on Skinamax. I don't know. Does uh, Skinamax still exist? I I wouldn't say Pornhub, but definitely Skinamax. Let your mind <laughs> make the pictures for you. Yeah. Skinamax, for those who don't know, is Cinemax late at night. Maybe early morning. When I was younger, it existed. Okay, look, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it still does. I, don't, I haven't had Cinemax or HBO or Showtime or any of those channels for ages. But I digress. Uh, the stories are out there. They're they're a little different than what I'm used to uh, reading as far as the horror genre goes. Not bad, not in a bad way. Okay, at times I don't know if I came to a real feeling about certain stories, like they. Like they were, some of them were just there, you know, and it wasn't like I was blown away by them, but I wasn't put off by them either because they were enjoyable, they were interesting, and I'm not, I'm not trying to make that sound negative. They were just kind of there at times. Uh, I guess I was looking for the oh shit moment, and, and there really wasn't many all shit moments throughout the collection but I still like the collection as a whole now don't get me wrong I know there's always been like you know sex involved with horror so again none of this none of nothing in this collection surprised me or shocked me any uh, but I felt most of the time the stories were focused more on the romance side of the of the story and not enough of the nightmare aspect yeah i mean they had they had the horror in them but you know i would have liked to see more of the horror more of the nighttime stuff look guys i'm not much of a romance person i mean 
I'm a guy. Come on. <laughs> not saying this is only targeted to women. I'm just saying I want some nightmares. I want the horror. I want, I want more blood and guts. Not as much romance. That's just me. The stories to me felt a little uh, on the creep show side of things, kind of creep show ish, or maybe maybe even like tales from the crypt, uh, where the, the 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 focus was more on spicy parts. So picture tales from the crypt or creep show without the the horror part, if it focused more on the spiciness. Uh, and that's probably just a preference thing for me that. I lean more towards the horror side of things and the nightmares. And don't get me wrong, there's plenty of horror uh, throughout. It just seems like at times a little bit more focus on the on the spiciness. T today's word of the day: spiciness. <laughs> when it did hit on the horror parts, on the nightmare parts, it was enjoyable. It was pretty cool. Uh, the parrot is probably my favorite of the collection. It actually, uh, to me, has somewhat of a black mirror feel to it. Like, I could really see the parrot as an episode of Black Mirror. That's just me. Uh, but overall, very interesting uh, selection of stories. I did enjoy it. Uh, this, is prob this probably shouldn't have been my first dive into... Sonora Taylor's work, though. Like I said, I have so many others by her. I'm looking over there because my Kindle's over there. But I have so many others by her, and I, I don't know what took me so long or why I never hopped into them before. But I need to change that, obviously, right? I, I need to check out everything else. This one is her latest. It's uh, a short story collection, Someone to Share My Nightmare. I think I'm around a three and a half to a four. When I do my written review, it's definitely going to be a four because I always round up for good reads and Amazon and all this stuff. So, uh, good stuff. I believe it's out now. I was a little late on getting to the advanced copy. Sometimes Jay here just kind of spreads himself a little thin. But that's what us reviewers do, right? Yeah. That's going to do it, guys. This is Nora Taylor. Someone to share my nightmares. If you've checked it out, let me know down below. What do you think about it? What were your favorites? I, I think the parrot. Uh, it's my favorite, and we'll see how I'm gonna bump in the night, or things to go bump in the night, is about a, a plumber going to a house to fix some plumbing, and I think the, the wires got crossed between the plumber and the owner of the apartment or house, uh, mixed signals that turn into one thing, and that just blows up. Those two are probably my favorite. Yeah. Let me know down below. All right. Cool. That's going to do it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for joining me. I totally appreciate it. Until we meet again, stay safe. See ya.